part two of my old neighborhood horror stories. Hey folks, are you ready for more scary stories? Well, I'm going to tell you all a couple plus about how i gotten some of my things stolen in my old house. Yep, I remember um, after Easter Sunday coming in with some things stolen. Well, here is one creepy story. I remember at my old house in the middle of the night when I was a kid, it was around 2 or 3 in the morning, I was woken up in the middle of the night by children playing right outside my window. When I got out of bed, I looked out and there was no one there. So I ran and hid under my blankets with my ears covered. I was creeped out to death. I remember some nights having to turn on my TV so I won't have to hear it. And also, sometimes in the middle of the nights, the uh, fire whistle, which was across the river from a long distance, goes off, and that creeped the hell out of me. I remember that also having to turn on my TV so I won't be frightened by it and getting my mind off of that. That was pretty scary. And I remember getting a huge feeling when entering my garage that somebody was behind my back. It's not from the mice that was in the garage. It's because there was something watching over me. Remember, we uh, put our garbage in the garage, and I remember being creeped out by that. Another story which pissed me off the most is I remember these kids, one of my other neighbor's grandsons that always hangs around with Worm Boy too. they only come during Easter around there. I remember wanting to play with them, and this kid always tells me to go home. I remember telling him to shut up, and he told me, make me, after that. Well, when I was in the fourth grade, they were pretty much um, rolling down on their skateboards to my um, garage door. I remember if I joined them, and then this one boy called me an idiot. So I told him to shut up, and he said, make me. And pretty much I um, almost attacked him. I almost got into a fist fight with him. But my mom ran up to me and grabbed me and dragged me inside. And I started wailing. I was devastated about that. Well, those same kids, you know, the ones with my uh, neighbor's grandsons, which only come during Easter that hangs around with Worm Boy, Apparently, um, he was one of the kids that um, came to my house that um, broke in. Remember, um, my uh, basement door had no lock, so he easily came through there. Remember that one year, he stole Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the sake of Genesis, and I blamed my little cousin for a long time for that. And then my grandma bought me another copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I know he did not stole it, but I have blamed him for no apparent reason. I took it out on him, which I shouldn't have done, which I was devastated. Remember around the third grade, I have saved up enough money to buy Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64, I remember that Friday we were going to eat dinner at Shoney's and then going to Kmart to pick up the game. Well, I remember renting um, Mischief Makers for the Nintendo 64 and I was going to return it that Sunday during Easter at the video rental store. However, I forgot it. You know that Easter Sunday we went to church and then my grandma's for an Easter lunch. Well, coming home, when we came in, it was gone. I have noticed that Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64 was stolen, 
and then all my TV animation Pokemon cards was also stolen too. So um, I asked my dad that I lost the game. I could not find it, and I was panicking. Well, uh, my dad told me to look harder. So I looked around my room, could not find it, and when my told my dad that I've lost it, he um, said that you're going to have to pay for the whole game at the video rental store, I'm afraid. You're going to have to use that money to save up, that you saved up for Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64 and to pay for it. And so uh, my dad drove me to the video rental store and I told the clerk that I've lost the game and I had to pay full price for the uh, lost game, which devastated me because it took me a long time to save up Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64. So when we got back to the house, um, notice in my mom and dad's room that there was jewelry all over the floor. So my mom was wondering that an intruder had came to our house. So um, we called the police and filed for a police report. Remember, the uh, cops was going around all my neighbor's house interviewing to see if there was any intruders in activity. And they were all like, no, we did not see any. So it was suspicious. How much do you bet that these kids down the street, you know, my uh, n one of my neighbor's grandsons that always comes around Easter come had stolen all my stuff, which is an extreme possibility. So, um, anyway, that was not the first time that I was robbed. I was robbed again at my very last apartment, not my house, but my apartment, but that's going to be um, another video that uh, my sister walked into an intruder. And so um, on my next part, I'll um, explain to you all about some gang activity at my old neighborhood. Remember, there was a gang war that happened, which involves gunshots and drive-by shootings. Well, folks, there you have it. That is part two of my old neighborhood horror stories. And please stay tuned for part three.